A cry of a child broke the tranquility of the grassland. An eagle was flying with a newborn child, and the Leon family chased after the eagle, sweating profusely. With a thud of the rocks behind them collapsing, the eagle returned the child to Leon, and it whirled in the sky. Why did the eagle take the child away? What exactly happened? Leon's ancestors lived on herding, so Leon inherited a lot of herding experience accumulated by his ancestors. At that time, Leon's son was married, and he was looking forward to his daughter-in-law having a grandson. He thought that they could enjoy the grassland life comfortably. Thinking of this, Leon unconsciously laughed. It was already afternoon, and there were wolves in the evening, so they had to go back before evening. He rode on his horse, and swung his whip to drive away the sheep, and the wolf dog barked, and directed the direction of the sheep. His wife and daughter-in-law were busy cooking and serving dishes, so his son and he drove the sheep into the sheepfold. At night, when Leon lay in bed, he could still feel the faint smell of sheep mutton. The main food of the herdsman was beef and mutton. Although his wife and daughter-in-law were very good at cooking, he wanted to eat something else. Leon remembered that he used to go out with his friends to catch hares to eat, and it happened that he wanted to eat something else, so he told his wife not to make beef and mutton tomorrow, and he would arrest the hares. The next day Leon got up early, and had gear and food ready. Leon instructed the great wolf dog to keep an eye on the sheep, and then tie the horse under a shady tree to unload it, and let it rest. He took the rabbit catching equipment, and some dry food and went to a low hillside not far away. At that time the hares of the prairie appeared either in the early morning or in the evening. Leon walked up the low slope. In his experience, hares mostly settled in shallow caves in the bushes. Leon tiptoed close to a bush, and slowly crouched down to place the device near the shallow cave, and then he just had to wait quietly for the hare. Maybe he got up too early that day. He wanted to take a nap, but he couldn't cope with the sleepiness and fell asleep. It was noon by the time Leon woke up from hunger. There was no movement in the bushes on the low slopes at that time. Leon knew he couldn't wait any longer as the sun slowly moved from east to west and the sheep grazing were tired. So Leon put away his tools and untied the horse's reins to drive the sheep back. The crisp sound of chasing the sheep made him completely sleepy and when he passed a rocky cliff, a sound attracted Leon. He listened carefully to find out. So he lit the torch he was carrying, and followed the sound on the horse. In a corner, under the stone cliff, an eagle with an injured wing tried to flap its wings, but could not fly. It seemed that it might have been injured by fighting with other animals and its blood stained one of its wings. The eagle was regarded as a sacred object in the herdsman culture. Their ancestors worshipped the eagle's vigorous posture as a totem. The eagle was very important in their culture. Leon's ingrained nomadic mindset made him want to rescue the eagle. He thought about taking good care of the animals his ancestors loved. He dismounted and approached slowly. The eagle stared wide-eyed and did not peck him. It didn't struggle or hurt Leon until Leon wrapped it in his coat. Leon exclaimed that eagles are smart, no wonder his ancestors liked them. Holding the eagle, Leon dared not let the horse go too fast. When he got home, the sheep were being driven into the sheepfold by his son. His family was terrified when they saw an eagle lying in his arms. Leon said it had a broken wing, and when he saw the hare, he hurriedly brought it back without even bothering to catch it. Then he carried the eagle into the utility room next to the sheepfold, and asked his son and daughter-in-law to take medicine, gauze, and clean water to treat the eagle's wound. He also instructed them to bring meat to feed the eagle. After treating the eagle's wound, Leon found a wooden box, removed the lid, put cotton and grass on it, and inserted a branch across the box as a standing point. He tore the meat into small strips, put it in a bowl and placed it in front of the eagle with a bowl of water. He touched the eagle tentatively, 
but it didn't resist so he stroked its head. Getting hurt by an eagle's beak was serious, but a miracle happened. Not only did the eagle not hurt him, but it rubbed his head against the palm of his hand. He told the eagle to let it rest in peace, and they would come every day. As if the eagle understood it, it lowered its head and began to eat meat. Leon discussed with the family to cure the eagle's wings and release it, but they need to change the medicine and feed the eagle. They had no objection, so the eagle was treated at Leon's house with an injury. One morning three months later, as soon as Leon pushed open the door to the utility room, the eagle flapped its wings and flew towards him, landed on his shoulder and rubbed its head against his cheek. Leon took the scissors and put the eagle on the table to remove the bandages. It had healed well from its wounds and was free to fly. Leon felt so sad that he called his family to see the eagle off. They stood in a line and looked at the eagle. The eagle looked at them first then tilted its head to look at Leon's daughter-in-law for a long time. Then it spread its wings, and circled over their heads a few times, and then flew away with a howl. Leon and his family watched the eagle go away, and they were happy that the eagle was back in nature. Even more unexpected, was the fact that his daughter-in-law became pregnant a week after they sent the eagle away. Much to the delight of the couple, who had been expecting a grandchild. They cleaned the house many times in order to give their grandchildren the cleanest and most comfortable environment to grow up. Leon's wife tried every means to make something delicious. The sound of an eagle made them suddenly quiet, and they all looked up to the sky, only to see two eagles hovering in the sky, one slightly larger and the other smaller. Presumably they were a couple, Leon saw clearly that this was the eagle they rescued earlier, and told his family that it had brought its mates to visit them. They lamented that the most ferocious eagle on the grassland would also remember its benefactor. They ended up flying to a cliff not far from Leon's house, where it seemed he wanted to make a home. After that, as long as Leon went out to herd sheep, an eagle would swoop down from the cliff, and landed on his shoulder to accompany him to herd the sheep. Every time Leon went out to herd the sheep, he was pretty cocky. Sometimes Leon fell asleep under a tree, and the eagle flew back bringing him hares, marmots and other animals. This made Leon even more convinced that the eagle is a symbol of warriors and a gift from nature. He felt that his decision at the time was not wrong. Ten months later Leon and his son waited anxiously outside the house. At that time, the eagle flew off the cliff and did not land on Leon's shoulders, but hovered over the house where his daughter-in-law gave birth. When it chirped, a crisp baby cry appeared. The eagle slowed down and landed on Leon's shoulder. When Leon was about to take the eagle to see his grandson, the eagle flew up the cliff. Leon felt that the eagle wanted to be with its mate, so he didn't care about it. He went into the house and hugged his long-awaited grandson. On the day his grandson was a month old, there was a lively feast at Leon's house. Enthusiastic relatives congratulated Leon on his grandson, and joy filled Leon's home. There were many guests who came to visit at that time, and they all brought the most sincere wishes to his grandson. When an eagle chirped past, Leon knew it was the eagle. He was very familiar with its sound. The eagle brought a hare and placed it at Leon's feet as if to bless him. And that's the congratulations it brings. Suddenly the eagle jerked its neck and stared at the cliff, then flapped its wings to take off. It turned its head to see Leon's puzzled eyes. And after a tweet, it actually took Leon's grandson away. Leon froze in place. He couldn't believe that the eagle who had been with him for so long would actually take his grandson. He came to his senses and shouted loudly that the eagle had taken his grandson. All they saw was an eagle holding the child and flying farther and farther. The guests who came to congratulate were shocked when they saw this scene. Not thinking too much, they chased the eagle in the direction it flew away for fear that the child would fall. After a long time, the eagle slowly slowed down and put the child on a grass and hurriedly flew in the opposite direction. The Leon family hurried to check on the child. Fortunately, the child was not injured, just frightened.
When Lian wondered, he saw that the cliff in the direction the eagle flew back to suddenly collapsed and countless rocks rolled down, crushing his home into ruins. Those present were shocked to see the sight. If they hadn't followed the eagle, they'd be dead. The eagle world in the sky, a fact that Lian discovered later. The Lian family was very moved to see this scene. This is today's story. Click to subscribe for more interesting stories.